graduated my first phase. And uh, so I'm moving, I'm moving on to the second phase. Good morning. Mm, let me turn Gabe Babe down. Good morning, y'all, from my cozy bed. And I am back home. Yeah, I'm so happy. I have a lot to do today. I don't know how much of it I'm going to get done today because it is my first day back home and I just want to relax. So I'll just bring you guys along with me today just as a vlog. So just keep on watching. So right now I am on the way to the gym. <clears throat> I'm going to grab me some water out the trunk. It is about just maybe about 7.20. <clears throat> I have a lot to do today. So I figure I need to get up early. And I guess it's really not early compared to what I've been doing for the last three months. But I figured I'd get up early and go to the gym because it feels good outside clearly from my attire. And it's just something about getting a workout in at the beginning of the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock some things out. I'm probably gonna run a little bit just to keep my body used to running because I hate it. And I'm going to hit some abs, maybe some arms. Maybe some all around things. We'll see how I'm feeling. Um, I don't know how long I'm gonna stay here, but I know I have two videos that I need to edit and I've been really slacking on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit those videos today. Hey, okay. Oh. The gym is empty, so. Is it empty? Yeah, it's empty in here this morning. So one of the things that I found is that I have really, Mm, should I get on a treadmill or the elliptical? Mm, I think I'm going to get on the elliptical. I have really grown to love being at home and not, <clears throat> you know, there's nine or five that takes away from my day. So I'm like in a dilemma and I need help. But yeah, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get on this elliptical, knock out some cardio, maybe for about 15 minutes or so. I don't like to run too much because the more I run, the more weight I lose. <laughs> and Nobody got time for that because we're trying to get through over here. So I'm going to set you guys up. I'll let you see my elliptical. Uh, let you see my elliptical for a little bit. And then I'll set you up and watch me do some of my workouts, okay? All right, guys, let's go. done it was a good one hopefully the light wasn't too bad i saw some of the lighting in here reflecting in the camera so hopefully it wasn't too bad y'all can see some of what i did um once i turned the clip once i turned the clips off i did a few more exercises um some squats some more ab exercises some more arm exercises but i didn't want to bore y'all with a uh, workout routine video it was hard to get out. Oh my goodness. It feels so good outside. So yeah, guys. That felt good. Now I think I'm just going to go to Wawa and go and get me some coffee just because I love their coffee. Then I'll get home and um, do some grocery shopping. Since I'm back home, I need to go ahead and um, shop for like the next uh, week and a half or so. Let me set y'all up. I hate going shopping while I'm hungry, but I need to. So I'm thinking I'll just try and stay disciplined. I didn't even make a list, so I know I'm not about to be as disciplined as I think I am. So I'm actually oof, grabbing some paperwork that I need to take down to my office in my apartment complex real quick. I'll be back to be good, okay? I love you. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna head out. Like actually really beautiful outside today. Today is my first day. Ooh, y'all cricket, huh? There we go. 
Today is actually my first day being back home since school has ended. So I'm excited about that. And I figured, you know, I wanted to rest for the majority of the day. But I also knew that there were things I needed to do. Like the house looks a mess right now because all my bags are here and I have laundry to do and I have cleaning to do and I still have Christmas decorations up in the living room. But I'm probably not gonna touch that yet. But then also part of me wants to just hop on the road and just drive to go see my grandma or go to Harrisonburg or somewhere relatively close since I have drill this weekend. Like look at the back of my car. I still have uniforms and my blankets and pillows from when I was, um, you know, down in Fort Lee. Hey y'all, so I'm out all day right now and I don't think that I told you guys that I'm trying to go back to my pescatarian diet. So I came in all day because I've never really shopped in here before, but I'm looking to see, you know, what options they have. So I realized I can get probably most of my veggies and stuff out of here. Some of the things that I got. But y'all, they have like, it's a brand called Earth Grown. And it has, it's like vegan food. So they have these hot dogs that I'm gonna try. They also have vegan cheese, which is usually not always the best. It's mozzarella. So I'm gonna try that out. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. Like, since when? Wait, this guacamole. Hmm. Hmm. 39, 39. But yeah, I just want to share with you guys that they have this whole like vegan. It's not a vegan section. I'm at, I'm about to ask if they have anything else. I've only seen two things. They have like hot dogs, and then I came past the vegan cheese. But I'm going to see what else um they have in here. But I just wanted to share that with you guys if you guys were interested. So I found it, y'all. So this is the section right here, and this is the label for it. Earth Room. So. I just grabbed a couple of things out of here and when I cook them, I'll show you guys. Yeah, they have a whole little section of them. I grabbed some of the meatballs and the chicken patties too. So y'all look, I did really good. First off, I feel like Susie the homemaker about the uh with these these uh brown paper bags, but I feel like I got a lot of stuff for a really good price. Because I was in Walmart and listen, I'm gonna tell you right now. Ain't no way I would have paid seventy dollars for the stuff that I got. So I'm really excited, y'all. Mm, this gonna be a love thing. All right, y'all. So I'm back home, and now I am. A Stella wants to say hey. Say hi to the camera. Can you say hi to the camera? Can you say hi, folks. Y'all. So what I'm gonna do is um, take everything out the bag, show you everything that I got. I'll tell you the total price, and I'll give you the full spread and layout of it uh, once i pull everything out so you can see what i got okay and then i'm thinking about cleaning out the refrigerator i might film that i might not we're gonna see all right y'all so i got two bags over here and let's start with this one um so i got some spinach the spinach i got two bags of it i'm hoping that it doesn't um you know go bad quick so like I told you back in the store, I'm going, trying to ease my way back into pescatarian. So I got some tilapia. Most people hate tilapia. They got all these theories about it. It didn't kill me yet, it didn't hurt me yet, and it keep me snatched. So um, I got tilapia. I also have some salmon. I think I just got one of these, and it's there. The individually wrapped the skinless kind because I don't like with the skin on. This is that brand I was telling y'all about, and this is um chicken patties from the earth bone brand is the vegan brand so i'm really excited to try those to see how they taste um tomato sauce tikka masala because i love the flavor of tikka masala but since i'm not going to be trying to eat as much chicken i'm just going to put it in my shrimp and i'll have it over shrimp and rice <laughs> oh yes and old bay obviously because all things seafood now so this next bag oh, kind of heavy i got some more greens I got some asparagus, um, some apples, because I love apples and peanut butter as a snack. Got me some carrots, because those are a good snack for me as well. Uh, oh, these are the vegan brand too. They're meatless jumbo hot dogs. I'm about to eat one of these right now, so let me see how they say how to cook them. Uh, 
So I'm gonna let the oven warm up and I'm gonna pop these on a rack and I'm gonna cook these bad boys because I'm hungry and I'm, I wanna tell y'all on camera what they taste like or if it was a waste of money. Okay, okay. I got some cranberry juice. I always look for the 100% juice, the 100% cranberry juice, just because everything else is like juice cocktails, all the sugar, and that's not the purpose of me getting it. It's for, obviously, the benefits of cranberry juice. So I got cranberry juice, and I got some vegetable oil, because I'll probably frying up some of that shrimp or um, that fish. Eventually, not a lot, because I don't even eat a lot of fried foods, but it'll happen. So, this bag, I got some bread i'm usually gonna only really eat this like the multi-grain whole wheat bread what is this N not your sprouts it's just a whole grain bread with reduced uh sodium which is why i picked it up so i got that then i got these brioche hot dog buns and i'm actually gonna eat with this meatless hot dog i hope it tastes good i got that i got me some peppers because i just love the flavor of cooking with them i got oh because i almost have the chips Blue corn tortilla chips, my favorite. Honey tortilla chip, I like them all, but that's my favorite. Oh, I got some uh, dish detergent stuff because I needed that. I got some tortillas because I'm going to probably be making fish tacos and shrimp tacos and some kind of quesadillas. My guilty pleasure, my guilty pleasure. Oh, my, none about it. Got some bananas, one of my favorite fruits to eat. And lastly, in this bag, I got some avocados. So solely for the purpose of me making um, avocado toast. And my last bag is... Um, I got some more almond milk. I have some in the fridge, but I know I'm going to run out because I'm a sucker for cereal. And then I got some of those meatless meatballs from that brand. So I got real bold. I don't know why I bought all this stuff for real for because I don't even know what it's going to taste like. I got two bags of shrimp, right? Yeah. So I got two bags of shrimp because you can go through this one bag in one meal. Thankfully, it's just me, but um, you can go through them. And I'm just not really trying to go through them that quickly. And then I, <laughs> I got some uh, vegan cheese. This is what first prompted me to look into this brand because I didn't see any of this stuff. I wasn't looking for any of this stuff. And I went looking by cheese. And I was like, no, because I'm trying to like, I want to say dairy free, but I still eat some dairy or I eat some cheese like pizza or something like that. But I just wanted to minimize my use of dairy just because it just, I don't think it's necessary for us and it's not good for my skin. Every time I pull dairy out of my diet, my skin flourishes. So I saw this and I looked up a YouTube video and they had made like some cheese toast or something and they were eating it and it had like the stringiness of cheese and they said it was really good. She did say it didn't taste like um, mozzarella. It was more like cheddar. I don't care. If it if it rocks, it's going to rock. So that's actually what prompted me into looking into that brand in the store. I got some salsa, some medium salsa. I don't Casa Mamita, um, some brand out of um, Aldi. And then I got some marinara sauce so I can put on those meatballs, those meatless meatballs, and I'll make some kind of sub or um, some pasta, meatball pasta, spaghetti, meatball pasta. For all of that, this funny thing is like everything is like two, one, three, which is such a blessing. The most expensive thing was the tilapia, and that was like $5. But it ended up coming up to $70, $72.21 after taxes. I can eat off this for a good little minute. So I'm going to actually um, see how long this lasts me. And I know some of y'all were hip. I ain't hip, but I know some of y'all were hip. But um, all these kind of like that. So I'm going to give y'all a quick pan. And then I'm going to set you guys up. So I'm going to throw these um, hot dogs in the oven. And then I'm going to set you up so you can watch me clean out the refrigerator. So y'all, this is everything that I just pulled out, just so you can get a quick pan. Got all our vegetables here, fruits, seafood, our sauces. This back here is where I got all those meatless brands at, which I'm excited about. Um, this is the tilapia, the salmon, the two packs of shrimp, tortillas, bananas, of course. We're not gonna pay attention to that. That was holding up my camera. Okay. Avocados, this juices bread snacks chips 
So yeah, guys, it's everything that I got for about 70 bucks. Not too bad, I think. the groceries now now i'm like hungry y'all i'm so hungry so i got still some um why well, still hiding so i put some corn on the cob on so i could throw it away out of the uh freezer and the hot dogs smell like regular hot dogs so i'm gonna let them cook for 20 minutes i like rolled them around i let them cook a little bit so now i'm just gonna grab a plate and i'm gonna like Take two of those brioche buns, these hot dog buns I was telling y'all about. I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna at least just do one right now. They already soft, but I kind of want to pop in the microwave because I like when my bread is warm and kind of chewy. And then um, I'm gonna actually take some of that mozzarella cheese and sprinkle it on top and melt it down. Then I'm gonna put it in the bun and I'm gonna see how it's gonna taste. So let's see how that goes. Mm, y'all, I love. <laughs> Hot water just burnt the mm, James Brown out of me. I think. All right, so from afar, this is what we're working with corn on the cob and this hot dog. It don't even look appetizing, I know. Let me see what this corn hitting on. Come and talk to me. I really want to eat. Mmm. 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 Y'all can eat corn on the cob all day. Hey. That tastes like alcohol. I'm scared. I ain't gonna lie. Lord, please let this be good. Now let me waste my money on this fake food. Amen. So it's not bad, right? And I probably shouldn't have put that cheese on there. Cause I don't know which one is what I'm tasting. 
I don't know if I'm tasting, let's see. Let me taste the cheese by itself. So the cheese, it tastes like cheese. So I think this little smoky flavor I'm getting is from the hot dog. Oh yeah, that's the, so the hot dog has like a smoky, sorry for all that smacking y'all. The hot dog has like a smoky flavor. Oh, you want some Stella? All right, come on. Hmm. So I look like it. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you do end up trying out some of these, um, anything that I got from Aldi today or this vegan food brand, then let me know because apparently they have like a whole full line of things and I think this Aldi just didn't have all of them, but I got what I could see just so I could try them out. And I'll let you guys know later down the road too when I try out the chicken patties and the meatballs. The meatballs I'm really excited about because I love meatballs. So if I'm just only eating fish and I can find a substitute for those things, a meatless version, then I'm going to do it. So guys, as always... Thank you for joining me today. I'm so grateful for your support. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, keep on loving, and I'll see you guys in the next video.